<laughs> that moment when you realize you still have the hardware mute on. Fun. All right, let's try this again, <laughs> this time with audio. Hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft with Anon Jr. Uh, with us today is Ray Est. Arcadius is at work this evening. I just wanted to take a quick spin around because Ray Est has been busy building up her demonic tower of doom, demonic temple of doom. Which was it? The temple. The temple. The Temple of Doom. Not to be confused with a certain property that a litigious mouse owns. Um, there we go. And, uh, yep, I guess I'm going to have to start working on making my castle taller because I cannot have another structure taller than mine. No, just kidding. <laughs> All right. And as I was mentioning back at the beginning, before I realized that I left the hardware mute on, over in my base yesterday, I had a little extra time to start playing around, and I was working on a project over here with my little egg farm. It was really bothering me that um, these two guys, who were silenced and are supposed to be quiet, but they sound awfully loud for silenced mobs, um, <laughs> they, they keep pooping out eggs, and uh, they sit there not getting collected, and the number of entities floating around can cause all sorts of fun server issues. So I was trying to rig a little overflow, uh, so that way when the box was full, it would unlock the hopper and send it off into a fiery demise. And yeah, that wasn't going so well. So I'll probably return back to struggling with that, this time live on camera a little bit later. Um, trying to think. Sorry. Oh, yes. We've uh, made some progress on the storage, in case you didn't notice on the flyby. Reyes has been moving all the items and sorting and stuff into the main storage. These are the shulker boxes of stone we still have to go find a home for. So let's, uh, let's take a look real quick. You want to give everybody a tour? So, this is a door. It opens. Um, uh, no. <laughs> so, we, down here is gonna go tools and weaponry, which I haven't moved over yet. And we relabeled these guys so it's easier to tell where everything is. So, we'll go to the first one. This is my precious stuff. And on this floor, we have all of our colored things so far until we go to the next version of Minecraft and it gets bigger. All of our precious stones and their various accoutrements. Are we really going to put all the iron stuff in there? I guess that is all the iron stuff, isn't it? The pressure plates, the trapdoors, the bars. That is and all the, the iron stuff today. Okay. Um, this is all the stuff that you guys use. I don't use any of it, so you can do whatever you want with it. Um, lighting. There's a nice little space here to reserve for lanterns. Yes. I'm looking forward to that. Um, this is our nethery stuff. Sorted out. Our endy stuff. And room to grow with a box for temporarily empty shelters. That will change as I continue storing. <laughs> and and no, then that's... the next floor... Oh, go ahead. Is, wait, that one? Or organics or terrain? Yep. Terrain is next. Terrain is next. And this is where all the terrain lives. All our sand and our stone and dirt. Things of this nature. Uh, I love the uh, mycelium. I know we don't have one yet. We still have. That is one thing. We we've been on, we've been on the server for what? Uh, since one point thirteen came out, which was in October, mm -hmm. somewhere thereabouts, and we still yeah. have not found a mushroom biome. Um, I don't think we looked too hard either. Yeah, but Arcadius has looked. You know him. He gets bored and wanders really quick. 
truth. Okay, then up to organics. All right. This one has all our different trees alphabetized, of course. So all of our acacia <laughs> stuff, Dude. all of our birch stuff, so on and so forth. And then on the other side is all of our foodstuffs and mob drops. Cool. And of course, if we need to, we can go another floor up. Um, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there, there's a lot more mob heads to collect. And then we got the opening so we can fly in if we want. Look, you can see my power. Yep. Speaking of flying, as you notice by the title, now with less lag, although still with hitting the wall. Uh, <clears throat> oh, well. We have moved servers. We were using my old Alienware M17X R4. It's a... Uh, it's, been, it's been around the block a little while. And... It was a serviceable server. No no wordplay intended. Um, for 1.11 and 1.12, the world we were running before we started CoffeeCraft. And, but it was struggling much too much with 1.13. Um, we were just having too many lag problems, too many spikes, too many oddities. And so what we ended up doing is we canceled our Netflix subscription and put it towards cube toast um i did a lot of looking around at the different uh youtubers and streamers and other people that i watch on a regular basis um i was and took note of what services they were using for their patreon servers and their let's play servers and um all, all that and that pretty much narrowed it down to three options and of the three cube toes seemed the better better option um one of them was a lot cheaper and while i am all about the cheaper i also fully recognize that there are times to cheap out and there are times to not cheap out uh, this is something that I've learned over hosting web servers and other things and working in retail uh, the number of times that I've had to kindly try to explain to people that sometimes the cheapest option is not exactly what you want. It won't exactly get you what you're looking for. Um, yeah, it, yeah. Let, let's just leave that there before I start going off on a rant completely unrelated to the topic. So we're now on a hosted service. We've got um, a two gig server for now. And so far, not gone and done an end run around the end. Oh, oh, and of course, of course, I was just talking about how well that was. And then we get a lag spike. <laughs> oh, okay. So anyway, Arcadius and I have not had a chance to do an end run around the end and see how that changes things, but uh, flying has been a lot smoother. We've had fewer issues around here. I just noticed that there is a horse over in our little pen. It's Arcadius's. Did you borrow it? No. No? It just it was there where he logged out. Ah, okay. I think that's the first time I've seen him use the horse. So now that we got the now that we got the server uh, upgraded, we got a few few things that we'd like to do. Uh, we'd like to add a little rail network that will let you travel as we build. Um, plus, to keep Arcadius from pillaging my rockets. Not that it's going to stop him from pillaging my rockets. Let's be honest. Um, as you've probably also noticed by the discussion, we have not yet upgraded to 1.14. I am holding off on that one. There seems to be way too many issues for me to feel comfortable upgrading on a server I'm sharing with other people. If this was a private project or something like that where it's just me floating around, yeah, sure, I'll deal with the problems. But there's all sorts of issues with chunk loading. There's all sorts of mob drop rate issues. And 
Um, some weird lighting glitches, and, and yeah, not not gonna have that just yet. Um, so, with 1.14.1, supposedly in the very near future, we'll probably upgrade then, and uh, and then start playing with the new 1.14 stuff. We're not gonna restart the server yet. Pretty much uh, the way we, we planned on working this was we were going to keep building and playing until we got a pretty good handle on how we're going to run things as a server together and work on things together, get settled in with our streaming and our stuff. Like I know I got a little bit more work to do on the audio balancing, trying to make sure that the, um, that the background audio is balanced with the mic audio is balanced with the game audio. I, I keep tweaking the settings and trying to figure it out and uh, it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, maybe next Saturday I'll go ahead and uh, just log on the stream and watch the stream on another computer with those headphones and <laughs> try to do it that way. Um, it also does and doesn't help that I do stream other games too. Like this past Friday, I streamed World of Tanks. I try to do that most Fridays at about the same time uh, with a couple other friends that I do some World of Tanks stuff with. Reyes doesn't play World of Tanks with us anymore because Wargaming and their infinite wisdom decided to not allow artillery to platoon, and that's all she plays. To great effect. German arty. Don't hear what I'm not saying. Huh? German arty. German arty, yes. Not just artillery, but German artillery. And I have not yet had the heart to break the news to her, but I guess I'm going to have to. So you know what's up. They are planning on further nerfing the top tier German artillery by increasing their reload time and decreasing their accuracy. Oh my lord, you already can only get one shot off in a mission. I, I mean, I know, it, it's like looking at the puppy who tripped and kicking him while he's down. But they, they keep beating up on artillery, and that's another rant for another day. I did some of that ranting on Friday. Past streams are archived on Twitch and Mixer, and I'm trying to get things going with YouTube, so I upload them there as well. Um, my original goal was to stream to YouTube simultaneously with Twitch and Mixer, but things got really weird a few weeks ago, and I have not been able to get it working since. So I'm just going to have to readjust my workflow and start um, and start uploading it after the fact, and just forget about wor you know, not worry about doing the live stream and just archiving it there. Um, I think that's all the ranting and updating I had planned for the opener. So, back to my chickens. And try to figure out what to do with some of this redstone. Um, yeah, so the original idea was to get a comparator signal. Uh, there we go. To get a comparator signal off of the block. The way the comparator works is it's drawing a signal off of the chest. How full the chest is determines the strength of the signal. When you put an input off to the side, like that redstone block, it then compares the two, hence the name comparator, and gives out a signal strength. So if I were to do something like pull even... Oh, <laughs> bad example. I forgot there was a bunch in the uh, in here. Um, let me empty that. Let me try this again. Okay, if I were to empty even one egg out of there, it's no longer a full box, and the signal strength is no longer equal to the redstone block, so another, no more power out. So the idea was to have the signal set up so that way, as long as the box was not full, this torch would stay on, locking this hopper, and everything would flow down from the chickens through this hopper into the box. And then once the box was full, the comparator would update. It would add a redstone signal down around and power the block, which would depower the torch, which would unlock the hopper. 
and then allow all the surplus eggs these chickens were pooping out to end up in the dispenser, which was then going to go into a puddle of lava and permanently destroy the eggs. So that way we don't have entities just sitting around, floating around on the server, adding to any issues. Um, unfortunately, the way I have it set up right now is... <laughs> Uh, that hopper ends up being locked. So I've got the signal to depower that hopper, and that signal, because it is running right next to here, is locking that hopper. Wunderbar. So i got to figure out how I want to reroute this and, uh, and work it out. I could just move the hopper train over one. And then move the puddle of lava and all that stuff over to this side here. That way the only hopper that would be affected by that torch should be this guy here. Um, that's kind of where I was at at that point. But it was late at night and I was getting tired and frustrated and realizing that every time I tried to move stuff around and rearrange things, it ended up locking different hoppers uh, one of the other configurations had it working, so it would go through this hopper and this hopper, and then lock over here. And, yeah, just all sorts of goodness. Um. Instead of burning the extra eggs, could you just make them, like, magically shuttle to Arcadius's house? <laughs> uh, if it wasn't so far away, don't think I wouldn't do that. Now, I should also add, I've got a box in here, a random project box, a couple of them that have some eggs and some other stuff, uh, because somebody thought they'd be kind of cute and put a dispenser under that pressure plate that opens up the door there, and they thought I wouldn't notice the texture difference. So the idea was that I would walk across that and get hit with uh, potions of the Turtle Master and what else did he put in there? Uh, Put a few other things in there. Oh, that's the eggs. Goodness, those are some prolific chickens. Right. Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, that's part of what I was thinking of using. Yeah, yeah, potions of slowness, po splash potion of poison, um, that one's got me a little, we, we had a little talk about that one because the idea was we are all okay with pranks so long as nobody gets hurt and nothing gets destroyed. Oh, I have a random shulker box in there. I was going to do something with that. Huh. Okay. Uh, me the shulker. No, 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 no. I had a project in mind with it. I just don't remember what. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, so I was gonna, actually, I don't know why I don't do that, except that's a lot of work to get over there. Um, which you may not have noticed is tucked in there. I've got a little dropper renamed Trash. Um, let me switch uh, game mode. Spectator. So I can duck behind the wall here. And I get a neat little setup where there's a comparator coming out from the dropper that's over the lava. And when you put something in the dropper, it sends a signal over to the sticky piston that pushes that observer in front of that observer. And they trigger each other, causing updates. So as long as there's contents in the dropper, it will pulse until the dropper is empty and dispense all the stuff into the lava. Makes a really nice, quick uh, trash system. Actually, oh. would help if I actually finished the uh, command. Um, I've got a similar version that I wired up for Arcadius over by his guardian farm. So remind me the next time I'm over there and I'll show it on camera so you get a better view. Yeah, 
And yeah, I have no idea why I gathered all the llamas. I was going to do something with them too. What'd you say? Nothing. Oh, okay. Must be the people outside then. Hear that or you're hearing the precarious noises of I as I put carpet on the lid of all my turrets. <laughs> on proofing. Yep. Alright, uh also pretty making. I thought I had a bucket around here somewhere, but apparently not, so. Let's go pick this up a little bit and see if I can move that over some more. Because I'd really like to move that over, but because I've been just cramming these farms in the area that made sense at the time, and honestly, I really should just tear this whole thing down and rebuild it somewhere with more space. Um, behind that stair is the redstone block. So there's no space over there. But these guys are fine. They've been tucked in that corner for so long. Um, one of the data packs that we're using is supposed to allow you to silence mobs. Speaking of which, over at coffeecraft.us, I have updated the description for Season Zero. So it actually goes through and shows you what data packs we're using and what we have installed as far as that goes, if you're curious. All right. Uh, hmm. All right. Staring ponderously at redstone with an on junior. Alright, let's get the dropper set up. Oh, one of the other wonderful data packs we have is this redstone wrench that lets you rotate redstone. It also lets you rotate terracotta, much to Reyes's never ending joy. At some point, you should come into my demonic temple, because it's awesome. All right. Let's go take a look real quick. And the second layer of uh, black terracotta is going up on the third floor. <laughs> layer demonic. Uh, that kind of was the middle layer. <laughs> what? This one that's just now going up is the middle layer? Oh yeah, this is not even close to done. Ooh, nice storage room. Are you <laughs> so you're seriously just going to go with uh, shulker boxes instead of boxes of shulker boxes? I haven't decided yet. Okay. Those are going to be my portable ones for like when I'm doing projects. So they'll be labeled with stuff. Okay. And I've not decided what I'm doing in here to get up and down. But I'm going to do the water elevators on the ends. Oh, look at the puppy. Yep, I finally moved them. I also decommissioned the uh, temporary base at the bottom of the ah. lake. That's right. Did we... Uh, did that get filled back up? Almost. What is your definition of the word filled? I mean, I see that it technically contains water. It does. And that's more than it contained before. Yep. Alright, I'll... Also, the red sand is not making concrete. It's not? It is not. Huh. It's supposed to. It said no. It did. It was kind of rude about it. 
Where's your box of red sand? Over here. The orange. Yeah, when I moved the wall, it bisected this room weird. The gravel yeah. is over here in brown. All right, and what color did you need this? Uh, black or red. Okay. Box that's red. All right, where's the crafting? Uh, there's a crafting bench. Huh. Interesting. Because that is supposed to make... That is supposed to work just as well in concrete as, uh... Interesting. That was not my first word. Yes, but I have a family friendly rating. That's why you didn't hear my first word. <laughs> oh. Okay. Sorry about that. I thought I had that squared away. Alright, I need to find out. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, I'll take a trip over by uh, Arcadius' ice farm. And then fix the river with the uh, ice blocks. That is, oh, that is one of the other things. I don't know if I told you. Um, since moving to a proper server, my mob dropper has uh, really picked up on its output. Like, that's just from the... 20 some odd minutes we've been streaming. A monster thing that lets me have more XP that also was significantly improved. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, because you use the zombie one because you don't like the angry fish. Fish are mean. I just wish I could get these guys to stop making bread. It's probably because I have two of them in there. I also had to uh, add these fences because we also had increased mob spawns. They're attracted by the villagers, and what was happening was they were climbing up that way, and somehow they were getting up here. And then they were getting up into this corner, and they were able to make it over that gate. So I went to go check on the carrots and potatoes and found a small mob of mobs over here. I'm just glad I firmly enclosed the villagers just in case such a thing would happen. And uh, and so they remain safe. It is my understanding that when we move to 1.14, I'm going to have to make some changes to their setup over there. So that way the farm will continue to work. I keep stalling on this chicken farm too. Farm. Yeah, yeah, somebody keeps using an awful lot of black ink. I don't know who that would be. Hopper. 
It also appears I'll have to make some changes to the iron farm, so that way that will uh, work again. We're going to have to separate out the villager breeder, iron farm, and trading hall. And I'm actually okay with that one. Uh, as, as much as I really like Cortez Arenos all-in-one design um, it makes expanding it out like in other words if we want more villagers in there hard so I'm gonna redesign it to give us a little more room for those guys and the perils of designing in tight spaces So, that guy should be locked. He should be true, he should be true. There we go. Those guys are all set. Now, I gotta get the dropper clock. I may do as I may go ahead and put that this way. Or not. What water is over there? Oh, 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 that's the down. <sighs> okay, I forgot about this. This is the uh, <laughs> this is the elevator to the mine shaft I used to get a lot of my resources. Um, yay for branch mines! And <laughs> and let's walk into another unexpected tunnel. Okay. And much to my delight and frustration, one of the, oh, a lot of that space under there is, in fact, um, a mine shaft. So that does limit some of the options. All right. All I really need. I need a couple of comparators. Yeah, I need one more comparator and I'll get some more repeaters. And... Uh, oh, I already got a bunch of sticks. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Sorry about that, guys. I haven't quite mastered the art of uh, talking and working at the same time. Hush you. I was going to say talking and thinking, but whatever. Yeah. I bet you were. Missing for the comparator. The repeater. Oh, quartz. I guess it's good that I have a low. I already got the comparator off the box. I need a comparator for the dropper dispenser stuff. And that should be it. Because I got my two observers and my sticky piston. I'm just worried about the uh, the other observer firing into the hopper. The pulse will power that, which will lock it. But that will already have something and get dispensed. So once that gets dispensed, ah, let's give it a shot. Still have to actually craft the stuff I intended to craft. Genius move. I are professional. There we 
we go. All right. I'm gonna need oh, not that one. Need the signal off of there. And go into there, which is gonna go into that block. Which is going to go do that sticky piston. Ooh, no. Uh, ooh. Ooh. I gotta push that one more back. Alright. One more space. some stuff I can trash. Better on this thing. The what? Flying is very much better on this thing. Yes. Okay, that works beautifully. So far, so good. Actually, that works better than I expected. Makes me wonder what's wrong. Alright, let's put that there. And the redstone's gonna go here, go here, go here, go here. Then this guy is going to go into that. So. When the box is full, it should turn that torch off and then just start moving stuff over into the trash bin. Let me go grab some eggs. And let's give this a shot. So that is now full. That is turned off. That is still not enabled. What happens when? All right, that drains. Where did the rest of the eggs go? I put in, what, seven? No, no. Alright. No. That seems yes. to be working. No, maybe. Yes. No. Yes. Ah. No. Actually, that that seems to be working. All right. So those are not spawnable spaces. Now, really that is the other thing I need to do. Oh, not done in here yet. 
having hoppers without something above them can actually cause server lag. Il Mango and Azumavoid have independently done videos on that particular phenomena and they actually tested out the different things that can reduce server lag. And it seems droppers are the best thing to put on top of a hopper to reduce the lag from having a hopper checking for items. So that's got the chickens. There's nothing I can do about that. That's got the hopper above it. So that's about as good as it can get. I need one, two, three, four, five. Five hoppers or five droppers. A hopper and a dropper. Dr. Seuss went to Minecraft. Actually, <laughs> that is most definitely a language pack we should add. Dr. Seuss does Minecraft. No, it doesn't matter where they're facing. It just matters that there's something there. I also want to fill in the spawnable spaces. All right, if I do that, it's going to cut off the redstone signal. If I do that, it's going to cut off the redstone signal. That should be good. That should be good, because I'm not cutting off the signal there. And if I have to, I can still come back in and dig that out. some cobblestone on me. Apparently not. Right. There we go. And bam. Now, if only those guys would be quiet. figure out why the uh, mob silencer is not working. I've got two different two different mods in for or two different data packs in for silencing mobs. There's two different ways to go about it. One of them is you put a note block with wool on top of it under the block that has the mobs, which is what I was doing before, so those guys would be quiet. Uh, I got that from MC Voodoo Beard. Um, and I've got a link to his website on the CoffeeCraft website. And I'll try to make sure I get that in the description um, once I upload this up to YouTube, probably tomorrow. And the other one is the Mob Silencer. It's the one that the Hermits are using on Hermitcraft. These guys are actually named Silenced. They should be silent. But as you can hear by the constant clicking, they're not. So... That is a mystery I will have to figure out another day. Let me get this stuff in here. I do try to keep a fully stocked redstone box at the ready. I'm going to have to go through and seriously revamp what I keep in there, though. Because it's been a little less than useful the last couple of times I've tried to... Uh, the last couple of times I tried to use it. I've also been debating on and off about putting together a fully automated sorting system. I really, really like the idea of a fully automated sorting system. But that's an awful lot of work, and I'm not storing that much. It also means trying to do stuff like this where I've got multiples of the same item in a box is harder. Um... Though arguably, I really should be separating separating these out. Or I can just manually add the ones that don't quite fit. 
But part of how I've been able to keep my storage system packed into this one room is by doing stuff like keeping all the spruce stuff together in this box. I'm judging you. What? By keeping all the stuff together? Things can't breathe. They need to breathe. <laughs> Feel their pain? No, I don't. Concrete. I kind of figured that's what was up. I don't know. It looks an awful lot like that. Yeah, and uh, one of the things that I added in the Season Zero description is texture packs. What made me think of that was looking at the sunset. Um. Once we move to 1.14, I can trim up the texture pack that we're using on the server and it will better let uh, Reyest and Arcadius use their custom texture pack because this will no longer have the beta textures for the, uh, well, what was then the beta textures. I did enjoy trying these out before they were the official textures. I wonder if the, uh... Actually streaming is part of why I'm having a little bit of trouble. I've noticed that today is the first day we've actually had some lag and other little blips. It's also the first day that we've streamed on the new server. But uh, it is within the budget to bump this up to 3 gig if we need to. Hello, Mr. Creeper. I prefer you stay away from my mountainside there. Your mountain spawn proof. Um, the mountain is one of those projects that I was going to hold off on. Why did I come over here? Oh, because I needed this. Um. When 1.14 comes out and we have all those glorious new slabs and half slabs and other stuff like that, then I'm going to go through and redo my mountain so that way I can try to do a scar-inspired build and really deck it out with all the extra slabs and half slabs and different different features that are available there. That didn't answer the question about making it spawn-proof, though. Uh, the slabs and stairs will help make it spawn proof and then I just need to figure out from there what else needs to happen. Alright. I'm pretty happy I got that working. I was not expecting to get that salt as quickly as I did and it's still tucked into the same basic space I'm not gonna put anything over where we dug out especially not with the uh, water source right there I have been debating on whether I want to continue with the natural cave feel uh, most of this is as the uh, tunnels were naturally generated I've added a couple of dividing walls here and there and uh, made some minor changes, but nothing, nothing too big. Yeah, it's all still a lot of as it was generated. 
but some people keep complaining about getting lost in my base, and I'm not sure if I feel good or bad about that. <clears throat> signs. They invented signs. They're about to be colorful. <laughs> yes, they are about to be colorful. Uh, alright. So... I am going to jump... No, I'm going to get to somewhere safe. Jump to an intermission real quick so I can feed the real Jabba. That wonderful, adorable pup that you're about to see in the intermission setup. And then I will be right back. And we're back. Okay. Java has been sated for the moment. For at least a little bit. I don't think and he was was... ever sated. Well, I did say just for a minute. Now, which project do I want to work on next? I've got a couple of projects in mind. Some landscaping, even though I know I'm not going to fully deck out and really decorate the mountainside, I would like to turn this part into a little bit more of a natural natural wall. Um, my goal has been to build it up one slice at a time, but that is going slowly and roughly. So what I may do is grab some dirt, start working down from the top. I do want to make sure that this stays pretty, pretty steep. I don't want the mountain to end at much further out than here. Then I gotta do the same thing on the backside over here. Because this mountain was very, very different when we initially started up. I know I could just build the uh build the wall or build the outer shell and just let it go from there, but I do not like hollow builds. I don't like um, having just not but a block or two between you and a fall. Most likely to your death because the creeper already knocked you down to half health. Not that that's ever happened to me. here for a moment. I do... I do like Restream's ability to send stuff to multiple places. I do like its ability to... Um, work on the chat. I do like... 
but um, I wish there were some better moderation abilities. Hello, hello. What moderation abilities would you like to add? Um, so far, the, the restream chat will take the chat from Mixer, the chat from Twitch, pull them up into one view for me to see on my sidebar over here. Um, unfortunately, if I need to promote or block or do any kind of moderation whatsoever... Um, it won't, it'll do it for the restream side, but like, uh, we had that guy a couple of weeks ago, uh, typing nasty things in chat and I went to block him and I blocked him on the restream side, but he was still posting on the Twitch side. And, um, it wasn't until after the stream was over that I could clean that up. So I didn't see it any further. But it was still there for anybody who was watching the Twitch stream to see that. Um, Restream does allow the ability to rebroadcast the chat so that way the people in Mixer can see what the people in Twitch are saying and vice versa. Which is nice, except for it's really, really hard to clean up when nasty comments get cross-posted. Uh, Twitch and Mixer are better than YouTube about giving you the tools for cleaning that sort of stuff up. So there, there is at least that. But um, and I, I think I just accidentally blocked somebody that I did not intend to. So let's uh, let's see if I can figure this out. Yeah, no, I don't know. Are either of the guys on right now? <laughs> no, not right now. All right. And supposedly there's some plugins that will allow... Um, allow some of the... <laughs> uh, I already get the Twitch alerts, like when somebody subs and that sort of thing, but... If somebody does sparks and whatnot on Mixer, I don't get that information uh, crossed over. And I'd like to make sure that all the interactions that could be happening on the other services do cross over to where I'm at. And I just, it's not there yet. I've been trying to do a little research into that and figure that part out. And... I've been able to manage it to a limited extent, but not as not as full as I would like. Uh, it also seems to help that if you have somebody on Twitch moderating the Twitch, you can set it so there's a delay before it actually crosses over to the restream chat. But uh, when you're a team of one, that's not the most helpful. But we'll get there. One step at a time. I gotta finish filling out the profile stuff. It's been uh, one of those things that I've intended to work on the last two weeks now. But, um... But life... Some days have been a bit of a struggle. I've also got some artwork that I won't need to get up and published. I'd like to start playing with some of the merchandising options so that way we can start trying to get at least a little uh, so if anybody would like to help with the server we can get that squared away. Um, I would eventually like to turn streaming into at least a part-time job. Uh, and do something fun for a change. I've done the corporate life. I would like to do something else for a little bit. 
but I want to make sure it's a you know, value for value proposition, kind of like what Tom Merritt and Brian Brushwood uh, pretty much started their their different podcasts on the idea being that if you if you get some value from the show, if you get some value from the podcast, give a little value back and uh, and help out. Rest. Did you have some projects you wanted some help on, or are you good over there? The bottom of my river should really like not look crappy. Um, ah, <laughs> and it kind right. of does right now. Um, and also there should totally be an ink farm on top of it. Yeah, you keep mentioning that ink farm. I do, but <laughs> see, I don't do the snazzy, snazzy redstone stuff, but I hear that I know some people who do. Yeah, but that's not a redstone thing. It's a thing thing. I don't do that. I make pretty. Finish the project, I will make it beautiful. <laughs> well, I guess I know what I'm doing for some of the stuff tomorrow. Interesting. Also, isn't the bottoms of our rivers going to connect eventually? I was thinking about that. That was the idea eventually. a couple stacks of ice that should help me get stuff squared away oh, that's too off from a full stack there we go okay also if this doesn't like work if what doesn't work this time mathematically I am not remaking this tower again why what's the problem um well, okay, so the first time, uh, it was in the wrong orientation, and I didn't realize it until after I'd already built it. Then I got the orientation correct, and then I realized that I measured the layout for, wrong. For those wondering, she had it running parallel to the river, over the river, with some funky stairs, and decided that it would be better perpendicular instead of parallel. Totally did not just see me fall. Anyway, um... <laughs> You're right. I totally did not see you fall. Glad we can agree on that. So, then I realized that I measured the layout wrong and had to rebuild it again. And then this time I realized that I measured the base wrong by the time I get to the fourth and fifth layer. So I had to redo the interior again. Re, 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 re doing temple. It grows every time, which is good, but it... <laughs> also might need more end rods. More end rods? Should all be sources there. All I should need to do is throw a few more down this way. I do want to make sure it's water sources through and through. That way we get more squid spawning. 
There we go. Your river is fixed. You know you're not coming through on uh, Discord, right? Yay, thank you. There we go. I almost said Mumble. Mumble was the chat program we used for a very long time. We, matter of fact, that same Alienware M17X that was running the server was running the Mumble server uh, back when we had weekly just LAN cut parties. In and out. Did I? Yeah, that was weird. Uh, I'm I'm wondering if we're taxing our meager bandwidth that Comcast provides, or Time Warner, or whatever they're calling themselves now. And that might be the next upgrade. Because now, now with the server traffic not being local, we are going to be running into some fun with that. Oh, thank you. So I may have to give them a call and see what the options are. Um, I know AT&T keeps cool bothering me with uh, their fiber product, and the answer to that is no. Um, that is what? Uh, is a no. Not using AT&T, no. Um, I'm mad because Google Fiber is here in Charlotte. They... Oh. <laughs> you must have fallen. I did. <laughs> uh, except Google Fiber doesn't reach here. So close. That's really sad. What? My friend who just moved out here to manage the other store. Mm hmm Her apartment has Google Fiber. Oh. I was a little bit mad when the uh, realtor lady was like, oh yeah, and we just installed Google Fiber. It's like, I hate you. For serious. <sighs> yeah, but we'd have to live on the other side of the highway of death. I commute there every day anyway. Alright, so I know for the squid farms you have to be Oh, who renamed my puppy? I did. I, I didn't expect you to notice already. <laughs> I mean, look at how long it took Arcadius to notice the horses. Yeah, different levels of observation. That is fair. That is fair. Alright. Uh, okay, yeah. So because this is a river biome, that would be one of the... That's supposed to be one of the best places to set up squid farms. So we could probably build one over there. Oh, that's right. That was the part that I was trying to... Hmm. Um, to set up the squid farm, we're going to have to take down the entire river. What? To set up the squid farm, we're going to have to take down the river, because otherwise the drop rates will suffer. There need to be places that... the It needs to be set up such that the only place the squid can spawn are in our farm. Or we could find another river further away and set it over there. We can find another river further away. <laughs> Because, uh, uh No? No. Um, why don't we find that river that's by that random weird architecture thing Arcadius built? Uh, I don't know that there is a river over by... You... There is. I go squid hunting there. Then we must... We must be talking... Oh, oh, are you talking about that giant hole in the ground that he dug out? No, he made a really weird shaped house because I don't know because him. Um, okay. 
it's okay internet we're married i can say that um anyway and there is a river there and there are squid in it and that's all i know <laughs> okay oh i wonder if he's gonna try to build that uh tutor mansion again on one of the on the last server that we had before this one um Arcadius had built a giant Tudor mansion, and on that one, we still had Fire Tick on. So he goes to build the fireplace, and this gorgeous, nearly complete wooden structure. Well, I, I believe you can figure out what happened next. Um, when I do the server tour, which I do still plan on doing at some point in the very near future. I will show you the burnt husk of his Tudor mansion that he abandoned. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> because it burnt up before while he was nearly complete. That's funny, but mean. He knows. I told him. Now, to be fair, he is still a little salty about that one. By the by, are you going to do anything with the inside of these uh, temples? I don't know yet. You don't know yet? It depends if the 1.14, 2.14, whatever number dot .14 uh, crafting tables work the way I think they will, then I may do, like, dedicated rooms. Ah. So the temples will be your uh, workspaces? Yep. Nice. Hear that, or I'm just going to decorate them and make them look like legit temples. Okay. That could work, too. And do, like, seating and an altar. And some mob heads on the wall. Or is well, that too much? considering the nature... Mm, no, I could totally do that on the um, dirt side, or on the sand side. Yeah. I forgot about all that randomness in there. Okay. But considering the materials used to make this building, I could probably do like a shrine to sand on one side and a shrine to gravel on the other. <laughs> yeah. Given all the concrete that's gone into that, yeah. Alright. Uh... What about the squid farm? What about a squid farm? It's sad that it can't go in my river without destroying my river. Hmm. Yeah. I still wish I knew which structure you were talking about. You talking about somewhere over by the spider farm? If I had rockets, I could show you. But you do have rockets. No, I had rockets. You had rockets. I had rockets. I'm not good at flying. <laughs> okay. So, you go out like you're going to go to the swamp. Mm-hmm. Do, like some of my favorite brownies and follow the river. Oh. See? Random building. Okay. I, I didn't realize that he was building that here. Uh, I think he didn't realize it because I ran across it and was like, hey, what's this? And he's like, I don't know. And I went, well, <laughs> I didn't make it. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure Anon didn't make it. So, um... What's <laughs> up? What, what did he do? And doing? then he went, Oh! That's my house! What are you doing with it? I don't know. 
Because I love him. <laughs> He's even got a couple of villagers in here, too. Yeah, he couldn't remember what he was doing and kind of abandoned the project because he tends to run a little bit listless. I'm uh, not sure if you've noticed. Is he building apartments for him? Because I, I, I remember seeing him work on this build, but I thought it was not on the server. I thought it was on uh, on a private world that he has for building oh, stuff no, and testing stuff. Oh, stuff in the weirdest corners of some of these servers. Like, yeah, super weird. Huh. And then he goes to show it with, to me, but he can't remember where he put it, and I have no clue where he's talking about. So, yeah, that's the thing. Also, are birch leaves supposed to be gray? It depends on where you put them. They take on the color of the biome you place them in. So, like, the swamps look a little desaturated. And... So if I harvested them? They will, when you place them down, they will take on the color of the biome you put them in. Like, take gray leaves and harvest them and have gray leaves? And green leaves, yeah. So in other words, if you put them in the mountain biome or the plains or the forest, it will look right. Oof. There's a wall there. Alright. Uh, hmm. When we go to the 14, where will the pandas be? Uh, in a bamboo forest. How will I know where that's going to be? You don't. I don't like that part. No, most people don't. Yeah, I need to start making that incline steeper. the river what about the river that we couldn't have a river in order to have a yeah because uh you need to make sure that the squid have nowhere else to spawn but in your uh farm because huh i can hear you How around the you corner but i can't river? oh no oh, you just fill it in with stuff I mean, you could do like Fall Symmetry did and fill it with glass, so that way it looks like a glass river. So there, there's the area her squid farm's in, and then there's a glass river above it. But that's a lot of blue and white glass. That's a lot of blue and white glass. I mean, I do live next to a desert. You do. Although, I figured we'd kind of dig a little bit further away from where we're at for the sand. That's fair. Because, um, yeah. I'd just as soon not have a denuded desert sitting next to the houses. from death right around the corner you're fading out again did you know that there is a like dramatically steep drop into a cavern right next to Arcadius's weird house in the middle of nowhere uh I saw that as I was walking by it 
safety, and this is why this is season zero, because I thought we had all those issues worked out. But I'm willing to bet between the bandwidth the game needs now to go out to the server. And sorry, or counting. I just keep moving away from my mic. Oh. Uh, I don't know what's going on with you, but I could hazard a guess. Hey, you keep moving away from your mic? Yeah, I keep trying to look around it because it's big and I'm not used to it being like in my face. But I'm pretty sure that's, I mean, it's not like I work in the industry or anything, but I'm pretty yeah. sure that uh, <laughs> that's kind of how mics work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to get into professions on the stream. Not unless you wanted to. I was just going to leave it generally vague, but I mean, you know. My trade kind of relates to a comprehension of devices such as microphones. <laughs> and not getting shot by skellies. It's nighttime. Nighttime. Yeah, it is nighttime. I could go away. Go away, nighttime. Shush. The things want to eat me and I can't remember which way is home. <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on. I'm getting to a bed. Yeah, I gotta fix that door too. I didn't realize that, uh, or I forgot that the zombies could break through the doors. And I but walked away for a little bit. Door. I came close to. I got back to the keyboard in time to say hello. Oh, the sun is pretty. You, Arcadius, and I will need to sit down when we get to the 1.14 and look over some of the data packs that are available and see what we want to add, remove, and a few other things related to that. We want to remove hostile pandas. Why, why would you want to remove the hostile pandas. pandas? Because they should all be friendly. Uh, I don't think that's one of our options. I mean, I guess it could be, but... Okay, um... Then what are our options? Uh, that's, that's what we're going to have to go through. And also look at, um... The Vanilla Tweaks website updated. That's what I've been using for the portions of the data pack that are not the... Or the resource pack that are not the vanilla textures and um, some of them we should probably put on the server resource pack and it's just going to be a matter of hashing out what we do and don't want to have running on the server resource pack uh, I hope you know that you regular. keep saying words and I keep hearing tech tech techity tech 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 tech. Yeah, I know. I know. We'll get you there eventually. No, I feel like that's wholly unnecessary. Nah. <gasps> clouds move through my castle. I actually turned off the clouds. I got tired of getting up on top of my castle to take a look out and survey the landscape and there being a cloud in the way. No, this is boss. It looks even cooler for the clouds. All right, stand at the tallest point. Press F3. And let me know. I can't get to the tallest point from the side. <laughs> Not yet. I haven't finished that part yet. Ooh, I get up there. All right, so that is one twenty nine. Ah, no. Oop, overshot. <clears throat> oh, 
come on. We're serious. All right, I'm at the tallest uh, point. <laughs> I can't land on the top. F3, and now what? If you look at the block, and it tells you looking at block, the middle number. 120. Okay, I'm still nine blocks taller. How many? Nine. For now. Uh-huh. Yep. I do have well, some I'm stuff that I want to... Probably... Hmm? Thinking while I was up here, I should probably make this, like, not spawny. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. You probably don't want a creeper falling in. I also need more carpet. What color? Gray. Gray? Gray. And some black. Not light gray? No. In A. Okay, no, Regular just double gray. checking. And how much black? Like two stacks of black and a bunch of stacks of gray. One stack of black would do. All right, that's not bad. I need to silence those chickens. Oppressive to the chickens. Hmm? Are you being oppressive to the chickens? Go I like a quiet base. Ah. Oh, there we go. Alright, a stack of black. One, two, three more stacks of gray. That's all I got on me right now. Yep. I have a problem. Will you take some stuff back? <laughs> In the storage unit. Oh. Bloody oath. Here, I'll throw it down to you. Alright. Oh, I need dirt anyway. Why do you have one random sandstone? I don't know. There you go. All that needs to go to storage. To the storage system? I'm already almost out of my concrete again. <laughs> for serious? Yeah, for serious. All the for serious. That's... You, you realize that's rather impressive, right? I wonder if there's a way to find out how many blocks you use to make a thing. Um, an individual thing? Yes, with an asterisk. Um, There's no way to know if you hit, like, slash delete, how many things would be deleted? No. Um, in your statistics, it'll tell you how many you've crafted, though. Yeah, but that's not a fair, accurate statement, because, let's be honest, I don't craft most of the stuff. Yeah, I, I should get Arcadius to say how much he's, uh... All right. That is magenta. What is this magenta?
It always frustrates me. Why? Because there's only eight colors. Why? How do we get all these? There's yellow, there's blue, there's red. I can hear you talking around the corner, but it's not coming through Discord. I have to turn all the terracotta, but I don't remember what the pattern is. <laughs> there we go. Alright, and that's coming along a little bit better, too. That's, that's pretty much what I want to do in wrapping it around the stairs. Uh, I definitely need to make that a little bit steeper. Now that I'm getting a little bit better at this, I don't know if I want to remove that retaining wall and smooth that out and make it look a little more natural again, or leave that there. I do know that the uh, giant pole of strip spruce is going to go away because uh, I set that up way back at the beginning because I could never remember which mountain was the one that I had started building in so I kept getting lost in the terrain and that was how I saw which mountain was mine in the early game you are cut clipping kind of weird clipping kind of weird or cutting out uh, I don't know the difference. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me, uh, let me pull up Discord real quick. Now we're still showing a strong connection to Discord. Interesting. Well, it's not, like, consistent. Like, it happens, and then it goes away, and then it happens, and then it goes away. Ah. Uh, I wonder if something's trying to pull down an updater. Anyway. Uh, I'll have to look into that a little bit later. Mm. Yeah, I definitely want to do some retraining up here, and I still like having a giant light off in the distance to show where the base is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to level this out a little bit more. Or maybe not. Either way, there's going to be a giant lava fountain over in this corner here. Something a little more complicated than what I've done in the past. Because I've done fountains, but they've been like super simple. Of this wrench. Leap. Oh, and that's one of the things I definitely need to do. I need to find a single player sleep that works in 1.14. The problem is, is that for the life of me, I cannot remember where I found the one that we're using now. So. If only someone had recommended that this time around we use signs to both acknowledge. Oh, yes, you recommended that long after we installed that one. Yeah. Remember, that was one of the things that we started at the start of this. Started at the start of this? Yeah, started at the start of this. Yeah, whatever. into some focus problems so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the smart thing pack it up just a little bit early and put that stuff away go find somewhere safe to be have the door shut in my face it happens like every time I go to your building yeah, yeah. Working on that door is one of the projects on my list. 
Why is it weird? Timing. So, I'm going to go to my little AFK room and bid you all adieu.